To create a new lab book, in the home page, select the lab book button. Here, we enter the name of our lab book. We'll make sure that the create a new lab book from a blank template is selected and click the create lab book button. A new lab book is created. Select an element for analysis. Right click on the element in the periodic table. Select the wavelengths for analysis. Click outside the box to close it. Right click on the next element to select new wavelengths. When all the elements are selected, click on measure modes. Here we can change the exposure time, RF power and gas flows for the radial and the actual options. When this is complete, select acquisition parameters. Select the analysis mode required. You can alter the pump speed for analysis, the pump speed for uptake and sample washout, and also enter a pump stabilization time. To change the measure modes to actual, select the measure mode and select actual mode. It can all be changed by filling down the block, right clicking, and selecting fill down. When this is done, select standards. This is where you create all of your standard solutions. Start by clicking on new. Select elemental standard. Enter the standards name, in this case stock solution, and click create standard using analyte list. Here you enter the element concentrations. You can use the select all and fill down button as before. When this is complete, select manual sample control. Here you can change the uptake and washout time for manual sample control or alternatively deselect it for the auto sampler use. To set up the auto sampler, simply select the auto sampler option. In this case, a SeaTac ASX520. Here you set the wash and uptake time, the type of racks being used and the positions for the test and rinse solution. When you are happy, select sample list. Here you create your list of samples to be analysed. Let's start by pressing add. When you have enough, type the name into the label. Now we select the sample type. For a calibration blank, we select blank. For the calibration standards, we select standard. We then assign which standard this is made from. In this case, the stock solution. We can use the fill down feature to complete this for all the calibration standards. We can now enter the appropriate dilution factors for each standard. You can now assign the sample's positions on the auto sampler. For this, the increment fill button is ideal. The positions on the sample list correspond to those on the auto sample page, in this case standards 1 to 4. When the sample list is complete, press the save button. Enter any comments, press OK. To start the lab book, press the run button. The lab book has now been added to the scheduler. Use the run button to begin. Alternatively, the scheduler can be set to automatically start using the settings button. 